What's up backgammon fans, I'm Mark Olsen. In this video we're going to talk about backloaded spare checkers versus frontloaded spare checkers. So let's have a look at this position here. So blue has a 4 prime. This is kind of a middle game position. Both players has, uh, have two back checkers here. Both players have got an anger. Blue slightly more advanced on the 3 point while white is on the 2 point. And Blue has a little bit better structure because he has a pure 4 prime, where white has a gap over here, so he doesn't really have a 4 prime just yet. What we're going to discuss in this video is the formation or the desired formation of your spare checker. So a spare checker is a checker more than two on a point. So you already own this point. If you put a third checker there, that's a spare checker. That's another spare checker. Now we got a stack because that's a point with five checkers or more. Okay, so. This is actually the worst possible way to put these three spare checkers. This is an undesirable spare checker distribution. So the rule is, or the, the strategic rule of thumb is that we prefer to have our spare checkers to be more backloaded because it gives us more flexibility and the checkers are more useful in the long run. It has more options. So let me show you a, a more desirable position. For instance, this is a nice backloaded spare checker distribution. You can basically play all numbers here except for a six. You can play the fives, you can play the fours, you can play the threes, you can play the twos, you can play the aces here or here or whatever. So here you got all of your, all of the, the dice combinations playable. Whereas if you go to something like this, a more front loaded structure, you don't, you have less flexibility. Fewer dice numbers can be used in order to develop your position. And again, this would be the, the ultimate undesirable spare checker distribution. And this concept we see again and again in all kinds of positions. It can also be in a, in a holding game, for instance. Let's say white has a holding game here. Let's, let's move this position into a holding game, something like, like this. Okay, so here we got a holding game because blue has escaped all of his back checkers. Now he's trying to bring his checkers home. White has a holding game because he's got this anger here. He's holding blue. He's waiting for that turnaround shot. And here the same rule applies. The more backloaded your spare checkers are, the more flexibility you have. So imagine, for instance, if we did just like this, we, we switch these two checkers over to here. That would be a loss in flexibility. We put even more checkers, even greater loss in flexibility. This is actually quite an ugly spare checker distribution. A much better distribution would be something like this. This is nice and robust. There you have it guys, that's backloaded spare checkers are more desirable than frontloaded spare checkers. Backgammongalaxy.com